Hello everyone and welcome to another Revit tutorial and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to import some topography from SketchUp into Revit and this is a very useful uh, method of getting topography you say you don't have any surveys done so let's get started so we can just click on the architectural uh, meters option here and we can just get rid of this uh, model here it's not needed and let's go to file go to geolocation and add a location in this scenario I'll be using the Kuala Lumpur city center for topography so I'll select this region here and I'll click on digital globe because if I chose a high-res near map I would need to go and pay as you can see so I'll just choose the digital globe here and I'd like to increase the number of small squares inside to the maximum amount and I'll click on import so here we have our image imported already so I'll just go to the top view so in this case I just need to draw a line that has a distance that I know so that I can scale this save image later when I need to go and overlay this image on top of the topography in Revit so it's easy for me to just show it to you later so in this case I'll just make this line 100 meters long and hit escape twice and I will go and export this as a 2D graphic so I'll just save it as KL with a reference line of 100 meters and I'll export it as a PNG instead of a JPEG and now we can go ahead and delete this line and in order to delete this image we need to unlock it then we can delete it now you might ask what is the next step after deleting the image and the line all we need to do is actually just go back to file go to geolocation and click on show terrain so here is the terrain that we have here already and it's painted in the image so this is what we want to be exported into a DWG file that will be inserted into the Revit file. So I'm going to export this as a 3D model and I'll save it as a DWG file and I'll just name it as KL Terrain. And when the export is successful, it'll say AutoCAD export audit OK. So click on OK and I already have a Revit file open up here and I'll just open up a side tab and I'll quickly change the units to meters and I'll set it to three decimal places and have the unit symbol displayed. So click on OK. So now the next step is to insert our topography. So import CAD over here and import this KL terrain and I'll be using black and white layers I'll choose all uh, import units would be auto detect positioning will be origin to origin and place at level 0 that's all fine so click on OK so if we zoom out we can see that we have this topography looking thing here but it's not yet uh, done in terms of uh, usability we need to go to a 3D view so right now this is not usable at all so in order to make this usable as topography we, we need to go and click on massing and site click on topo surface and under the create from import just select import instance here uh, you can uncheck these two options and click on OK so this uh, warning here is caused by the fact that a rectangular prism is in the same area as this topography so it's not really a problem I'll show you how to deal with it so click on close and click on finish surface here and you can see that there's some black uh, colored object covering our topo so we just hit tab once and this 
is what was causing the error pop up to show. So we just need to go and unpin this, hit delete, and it's gone. So there we already have our topography here. But like I said earlier in the video about bringing in the image that we saved, well, that image will be useful for us to draw out where roads are and so on. So I'll just go back to the side view and I'll click on insert and click on image. So I'll click on this KL with ref line 100 meters here and I'll paste it here. And if you zoom in closely and go to the modify tab and click on the measure between two references tool, and measure from these two points, it's only at about 1.2044 meters. So we need to scale it up to about 100 meters. So to do that, we just need to go and select this image and click on this scale here. And click from this point here to this point as accurately as possible. And type in 100 meters here. So now that we've already resize our image, you can see it's almost the same size as this uh, terrain that we've gotten from SketchUp via a DWG file. So let's make this a wireframe view so that we can bring this image over. So I'm going to use the move tool and I'm going to move this edge as close as possible to this edge and move it down slightly. And yeah, this uh, scaling isn't exactly a perfect fit, but you get the picture. So uh, I guess probably need to scale it up a little bit more. This is about 99, it seems. So I'll make it about 100. So now let's try again. There we go works like a charm. So now we look back at the SketchUp topo here. So let's look at a top view. So we have the KLCC tower here. So we zoom in and we uh, rotate around in 3D. And if we see this in 3D in Revit, so you can see that the top view over here. If we rotate around, you can see that the image lines up nicely with the terrain here. So therefore, you can easily use this image and you can draw in the roads here, they can see. If you, if you uh, see building locations here, you can also place buildings as well. And that's it for this video today, folks. I hope that you learned something new and useful. You can smash that like button over here and let's get the subscriber count to 1,000. And I hope you are safe in these unprecedented times. And as always, keep learning and goodbye.